Hi, I'm Julie Brown, fabric buyer and wholesale manager at Fabric Mart. Hi, I'm Melissa Watson, a designer for the McCall Pattern Company and a fitting specialist for Palmer Pletch. You're joining us for the Fabric Mart Fit Along. I wanted to ask you, Julie, how did you hear about the Palmer Pledge tissue fitting method? I heard about it through Pamela Leggett of Pamela's Patterns, and she uh, introduced me to um, the Palmer Pledge tissue fitting method because I was explaining to her how frustrated I was with patterns and um, my handmade garments not turning out correctly. So she encouraged me to take the four-day intensive class. That's so intense. <laughs> it was That's very hard. intense, but I learned so much, and it was the greatest thing that I've ever I've ever done That's for so my, for my sewing um, experience. And um, Pamela then introduced me to you. Yeah. And I thought that was a really great um, connection because we're two young sewists yeah. that are just looking to take um, sewing to the next level and um, inspire other young sewers out there. Yeah. And I think getting a great fit can definitely uh, encourage people to sew more and, and get more into it. Absolutely. So I'm sure you're wondering uh, what is this tissue fitting method? My mom, Patty Palmer, actually developed it about 30 years ago with her colleagues, and she, they have been perfecting it ever since. She's written books, um, done patterns, all surrounded um, with this tissue fitting method. Now, what the method is, is we actually take the tissue and pin it together, prepare it, and fit the tissue on your body. And the tissue kind of tells you what you're gonna do. So what you see is really what you'll get. And we will show you how to make those alterations um, from what the tissue tells you, and we'll show you how to spot what you need to do on your body. And Julie's gonna be my beautiful assistant today. So the supplies that you're gonna need for your tissue fitting are a straight ruler, uh, I like my clear ruler, two inch. It has the grid on it, so you, it's easy for alterations. An armhole curve and a French curve. A half inch scotch tape in a dispenser. A tape measure, straight sewing pins, an array of different colored markers. I use one color for marking the stitching line and another color for doing the alterations with scissors, paper scissors, and a chalk. Chalk is great for marking your darts and pleats when you do your fabric fitting. Now the first step in getting the right fit with the tissue fitting method is picking the right size. So I'm gonna measure Julie and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first and most important step of the Palmer Pledge tissue fitting method is getting the right size. Now we take the high bust measurement on um, the bust line on the back of your pattern. So I'm going to take her high bust measurement and then choose her size from the bust line. Now to take the high bust measurement, I'm gonna take the measuring tape and you're gonna lift your arms, thank you. And we're gonna go behind or under, right at her shoulder blades in the back and then around and up and over her bust in the front. So she is 35 and a half, and we pull this snug, this is a, a skin measurement. She's 35 and a half um, on her high bust measurement. So that is between a 12 and a 14. So we are going to take the um, smaller size on the back of the pattern um, if you're between sizes. So the pieces that I need to prepare for tissue fitting are the front bodice, back bodice, sleeve, skirt back, and the skirt front, which you can see I've already pinned the side seams together. Now I've also already marked the 5 8 inch stitching line, and I just use my clear ruler right here and you just follow the edge of the pattern to mark that stitching line all the way around. And I used a red pen for that one. Um, you mark your shoulder, armhole, side seam of the front, same with the back. On the sleeve, you'll mark the um, underarm seam. And on the skirt, you will mark the side seam, the waistband. Also mark the waistband on your front and back. You need to tape the underarm uh, of the pattern on the inside of the stitching line. 
and use small little pieces of tape all the way around the armhole. And this is going to secure the pattern around the armhole. You're going to tape all the way up. Great. And now I'm going to clip to the tape, but not through the tape. I don't need to go all the way up to the shoulder seam, but just in the curviest part, because this is going to help you get the pattern all the way on your body. If you didn't clip these, then it, you, know, you wouldn't be able to get it all the way on. And now I'm just testing that the tape is not ripping, and we're good there. And you do that to the front and the back armhole. I've already done the back. And now you're just going to pin your pattern together. So make sure that you remember to pin the pleats in the front of this pattern and the back dart. And then you're just going to pin the wrong sides together. So what you're going to do here, and I'll show you on this the side seam of the front and the back, is wrong sides together so the seam allowance is sticking to the outside is you're going to take your first pin and on the stitching line of the armhole of the underarm armhole and the side seam that's where you're going to put your first pin and you're going to face it down because you don't want to stick Julie in her armpit that wouldn't be very comfortable so I'll keep pinning down through the side. Now a little tip if you want to do it is you don't have to mark the front and the back side seams. If you just mark one side, then you can just pin through and you'll know um, that it is taken 5 eighths. Now I'm just going to finish pinning the shoulder seam and the rest of the um, bodice together and we'll try on the bodice. We're ready for tissue fitting. Another really important part of the fitting process is choosing the right fabric. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the fabrics that we're going to be making this garment out of. This pattern calls for a stable knit to be used, so I'm going to go over a couple uh, stable knits that you can use for this pattern. This top one is a ponte knit. It's a double knit weave. It's just heftier and it has a good stretch and recovery. As you stretch it, it recovers back to its original shape. You can also use a jacquard double knit and that's what we're going to be using today in the pattern that Melissa is going to be fitting me in. A jacquard double knit is almost like a jacquard woven except it's a knit and it stretches and a jacquard basically is a design woven into the fabric rather than printed on the surface. You can also see that it has some really good stretch and recovery. And then one last option is a scuba knit. A scuba knit has a smooth surface. Um, it's just like a double knit. It's thick, sturdy, has good stretch and recovery as well. There's a couple of fabrics that you probably should stay away from, um, but it doesn't mean that you can't use them. You just would have to do specific alterations to your pattern. This is a sweater knit, and it is sort of like a jersey just made with like sweater-like um, yarns. This is a rayon jersey knit. Again, this is probably best for t-shirts, and it does have a good stretch recovery, but it's just a really lightweight knit that probably isn't best uh, for some of the um, details that are in this pattern. And then lastly, we have a ITY knit, which is um, means interlock twist yarn, and it's basically like a jersey knit. It has good stretch and recovery, but it just has a really slick, uh, slinky feel to it, and it's pretty lightweight, so it's going to lay sort of flat on your body. Again, you can try any of these other options. You just have to do specific alterations to your pattern. Now I'm going to briefly talk about uh, stretch versus no stretch. We want to make sure that your pattern, that your fabric has um, stretch in it because otherwise the stretch um, will, it'll make your, your garment kind of look frumpy on you. 
So I'm going to hold the edge of this fabric at this line, and then I'm also going to hold it at this line. And when you pull on it, you can see that I didn't make it, it didn't make its way back to this line. This is 100% cotton knit, so this is not the kind of um, uh, stretch choice that you'd like, to, you'd want to make for this garment. This white fabric here, I'm going to hold on this line and hold here at this line, and when I stretch it, you can see it recovers back really well to that line. That means that this fabric has lycra in it and is probably more suitable. These are both jerseys, so you wouldn't want to use the jersey, but this um, little example is just to show you when you're using the double knits, you want to do that um, little test to make sure that your fabric has stretch or not. Hi, I'm Julie Brown, and you're watching the Fabric Mart Fit Along.